Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When creating a PDF using Acrobat, you can control the document's initial view settings. This means you can determine how the PDF will appear on the screen when it is first opened. To do this, open the PDF in Acrobat whose initial view you want to specify, and then select File, Properties from the menu bar to open the Document Properties dialog box. Click the Initial View tab. In this dialog box, you can control three different aspects of the PDF's initial view in the following sections, Layout and Magnification, Window Options, and User Interface Options. In the Layout and Magnification area, you can use the Navigation tab drop-down to determine whether the PDF opens to display just the page or the page and a selected panel for navigation. The Page Layout drop-down lets you select the initial page layout. Choices include a single page, a single continuous page, or one of several two-page displays. The Magnification drop-down lets you determine the zoom level shown when someone opens the PDF. If you leave either the Page Layout or Magnification text boxes set to default, then the settings of the device used to open the PDF will be used to determine how the document appears. In the Open to Page text box, you can enter the page number of the first page you want to be displayed when the PDF is opened. In the Windows Options section, you can select options that will resize the user's window to fit the initial page opened, center the window on the screen, and open in full screen mode. You can also use the Show drop-down to determine whether the PDF will display its file name or the document's title in the title bar. In the User Interface Options section, you can select options that will hide the menu bar, toolbars, or window controls. When you have the initial view settings of the PDF selected, click the OK button. When the PDF is next opened, its initial display will be based on those settings. However, because full screen viewing preferences are specific to the device upon which a document is viewed and not the PDF, you will only be able to have limited control over the initial view of a full screen document. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.